Hello, welcome to Valley Forge and Bolt. My name is Brett Holly. I'm here to talk to you today about uh, installation of our SPC4 bolts, uh, bolts or studs. Um, we get a lot of questions about how do they interface with torque wrenches and how to install them and uh, how are they working with tensioners. And the first topic I want to hit on is when your equipment designer has designed your equipment, that's the load that you're looking for in fasteners. So they convert that to torque, and our SPC4s give you that load reading so you don't have to convert it to torque. And we do that in a percentage. We've done a lot of different videos here to talk about the different meters that show you how they read. But the overall caution that I want to give you is Go to your OEM of your equipment that you're putting together with these design fasteners, these specified fasteners, and ask them about what load you should be seeing, okay? A lot of them say, hey, we want to go to torque. What's the torque rating? Well, that's the advantage of the SPC4 is we're getting away from that torque value and the bolts giving you load. So, that's number one is the OEM of your equipment should be telling you that load number that you need to go to. How you get there is what we want to talk about today. Hydraulic torque wrenches, pneumatic torque wrenches, nut runners, uh, uh, impact guns, there's all sorts of ways to do it, tensioners, and we have different styles of fasteners as we've shown you in different videos. What do you get when you get a fastener? Normally it comes with some type of tag on it, packaging we've taken off already. It's got a uh, a connection point that uh, connects to an SPC port. It's probably going to have a cap on it when it comes off, and then you connect onto it with an SPC port. And we have various meters that show you all the different m meter operation and explaining those meters. So, in interfacing our meters with the torquing tools, bolt is now a calibrated unit or a calibrated instrument that you can use to put in and see load. How you achieve that load, whether it's in a tensioner that you have to screw onto something and adapt and tighten it up and read the SPC4 from the other end or read it from the tensioner end. Say we're connected here. With a tensioner, you're probably not going to be able to read an SPC4 that is mounted in the ground or in this, a piece of equipment and tensioning it from here. Having the tensioner on it, you're going to have to put your load on it to design of the OEM, whoever's selling you the tensioner, that load that you're looking for. Take it off and then read your SPC4 meter, okay? Or read your SPC4 bolt with a meter. Different style meters, you can use any style of meter that you want to, to interface with a tensioner. So tensioners, are normally harder to install with an SPC4, but when you're done tensioning, the main objective is when that piece of equipment's left there, the bolts tighten or the, the joints put together, you can read that SPC4 with this uh, with a meter anytime afterwards. We have our SPC4 24 meter that will actually interface with all different types of torque wrenches or pneumatic nut runners if you would or uh, impact guns and it has the ability to shut the bolt then has the ability to shut the tool off okay so we're currently using uh, a pneumatic solenoid to do that and that's um, it comes with the 424 unit there's a box a gray box that controls it you have to wire that in at sight We've got all different places in the world that use this, so we supply it in two different models, uh, and, and you can see that on that video. But uh, basically, you supply the plug-ins, and then it interacts with your part. Okay, for hydraulic tools, whether it's a square drive, right angle tool with a uh, reaction arm, or a open face style unit, Depending on which side of the fastener you're tightening from, or if it's a stud or a bolt. If it's a bolt and you can use an open face 
If you're driving it or you don't have a nut, it's going into a blind pole. You can put it into that and then clip onto your meter and read that as you're tensioning the, the joint or torquing the bolt from the head. So you can clip on and read it. We have an SPC 424 that can do this. Then the bolt controls it at the right time. Or we can use a 500. We can use a, a data logger if you wanted. Uh, the wireless unit that we currently have brought out doesn't work as good for installation, but it works for long-term long uh, uh, observation of data. <clears throat> but if you're doing it from the nut, obviously you can get to the head and clip on. Hydraulic torque tools, very simple to use. Um, if you're using, again, a right angle one and you're going from the nut side, it's very easy. You can clip on to the, uh, the head of the fastener and torque from this end, tighten up the nut. And if you're going from the head side, you aren't going to be able to do that. You're going to have to always protect the cap so that you don't damage that uh, datum surface area. And then you put your tool on with your socket and you torque from the head side. You torque it up, then you recheck it, make sure that it's reached the right load reading. And if it's not at the right load, you do it again and again until you get the right load on the SPC. You would like to use that in a wireless version and monitor your fasteners. You can also screw on one of our SPC4 702 meters, which we haven't done a video on yet because it's so new, but it's out in the market now and it's working pretty good. It's a wireless unit. Battery life does a few different things, but it'll also work to show you load on the fastener long term in the future.